Yes, I see them both ahead of time, preoperatively and postoperatively. Um, basically, I help prepare them mentally for the large, big changes that they're going to have to take place in their life. Um, there's plenty of things that they can do ahead of time to help prepare them for the changes. Things like reading food labels, understanding what foods are high in protein, um, understanding that it, it makes a big difference if you slow down and chew more because you learn to get satisfied on less food, and all those, and taking the right vitamins ahead of time to prepare themselves so that they're um, healthy and um, convince them to maintain as active of a lifestyle as they possibly can within their limitations ahead of surgery so that the recuperation goes more smoothly. Um, so we focus on what they need to think about and do ahead of time to help them prepare. Um, and then we also focus preoperatively on the very first six weeks after surgery, what kinds of dietary changes they're in store for them, you know, those first six weeks. It's also to encourage them to learn for themselves how to manage stress because in the past they very likely have used food to cope as a coping mechanism. So we encourage them and the Lord's Wellness Center has so many programs to help them if they choose to participate um, to deal with stress and to kind of change their lifestyles so that they can have much more success after surgery because it's so much more about than, than, it's so much more than food, portion sizes and exercise. I see a lot of changes in people. I see a lot of people that when they have such a huge physical change that they they become so much more lighter in spirit and they, they go back to goals that they had before they had the weight gain. They um, adopt behaviors that they, that they miss from maybe childhood, as far back as childhood. Um, they become so much happier, you know, in a lot of ways. But at the same time, there's that inside persona or that self-image that many times doesn't change, even though the outside has. And so we try to help them deal with that. I see people people change careers. They they you know get married. They get divorced. They you know they make some major life changes afterwards because their self esteem is really affected in a positive way. Because that's what people need to really think about both you know ahead of time too. When this isn't a crutch for me anymore, or it's not an obsession of mine, or it's not just um, something that I've used to help me, what am I going to do in place of that? Um, and so basically, when you have one-on-one -on -one counseling, then I as a counselor can help people decide and set goals. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go back to bike riding, or I'm going to join this club, or I'm going to start reading more, or I'm going to, you know, I'm going to substitute this behavior um, for what I used to do with food. I just am constantly um, impressed with the courage. They're just so strong-willed, so many of them, and they just, it's just so, it's, it's amazing to see the transformations. So I really like that aspect of what I do.